day trading live this morning, missing two really solid entries on two stocks this morning, and then kind of missing out on the move, and then kind of feeling some FOMO, and then having to cut myself off. So stay tuned and see what went down live in this video. What's going on guys? Before we get into the action real quick, give me one big favor. I love it when you guys actually leave comments and you let me know what stocks you've been trading lately or what stocks are hot, what stocks maybe that I've missed out on or haven't looked at. You know, I like to see kind of, oh, what are the other people looking at? So if you have any ideas or stocks that you're trading right now, leave a comment below. Let me know. I like to take a look at those stocks and kind of see, damn, why did I not trade that or how did I miss that? So if you have any other ideas and stuff like that, leave a comment below and then also do me one big favor. Hit that like button and let's get into the action. Why? P-I-X-Y. Making a big move yesterday and then pulling back. So kind of looking here, look at big, big buyer there, but then got a big seller there at 459. He's about to get sold. There, there he goes up there. Look at it go now. P-I-X-Y up there to 460s, 470. Here it goes. It's just going right now. So looking for this break on P-I-X-Y, a break over $5 and then a quick pullback. There's the break over $5 there. See if we can get filled there at 485 on this pullback. I'm gonna move that down a little bit more actually. Or cancel that for now. Doesn't look like I'm gonna get filled. P I X Y there above five dollars now. I was hoping to get a bit of a pullback down here to the 480, 475 area. So there's that pullback down there to the four eighties. Got about a 10 cent spread right here on P I X Y. So there it is. Look at that move. That far. That 485 dip would have been perfect. Told myself I wasn't gonna chase it. Should have just kept that 485 bid out there. Could have got filled. Look at this move up there to 515 now. P I X Y. That would have been beautiful getting filled there on that dip. It got down there to 482. Could have got filled there 485. P I X Y about to rip here. She's setting up to rip. Here she goes. And look at it up there to 530, 540. Beautiful. Wow. That 485 dip now. Would have been money. Would have been so money. Oh man, man, man. That would have been the play. That's what I that's what I needed right there. Kind of base <clears throat> So you can see really my plan was, you know, hoping that this would pull back down here to that nine EMA there, kind of find some support. Got the VWAP there at 484. Uh got the VWAP down there as well. So I was hoping we would find some support, hoping to get filled on that dip there. Once this ripped above five dollars, get filled on that dip, get filled on that dip, and then look for that next big rip. And uh, that would have been beautiful, you know, breaking over this whole dollar here at the $5 area and then looking for that move up, you know, 520, 530, 540 area, which ended up beautifully doing later on. Uh, P I X Y popping up there strong after dipping back down there, touching the 9 EMA, touching that support line. Crazy. Looks like Z S A N's also going crazy this morning. Z S A N. Dipping down there to $20, coming back from $20, back up there to $23, all over the place right now. Maybe over $24, it might be a good buy. But right now, I'm just going to stay away from it in general. Not that I'm mad about the PIXY trade, just kind of frustrated because, you know, to see it work out, to do exactly kind of what you wanted, the plan, the plan was to buy the dip there and then look for that next big rip. That would have been, uh, you know, really a beautiful entry here on PIXY. Should have let it happen there. There it goes. Up there to 540 once again. ECYT getting ECYT going down right here from its 937 area down there to 840. This morning pre-market was looking at it. I'm like, oh man, this looks pretty, this looks pretty good. I might want to short. I might want to short. I was looking at the daily chart here. I was like, what do we got here? What do we got resistance wise? And look, back there in 2014, that resistance there at the 9, uh, 930, 940 area. Was thinking, okay, that might be a good opportunity to short. The other day, I shorted ECYT and it didn't work out for me. And I was kind of hesitant to short it again this morning after kind of that. But look at it now from 937 down there to 837. So a full dollar move there on ECYT 37 area, which would have been just a beautiful short. You can see it's been nothing but just ding, 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 ding lower. So a couple of trades this morning that I was watching was thinking, hey, these might be the trades I want to take. Might kind of hammer these trades down. And then kind of my hesitation, kind of hesitant, you know, I haven't been trading much this week and I uh, didn't really want to end the week on a red note or kind of trade Friday and turn into a red note kind of week. So I was kind of hesitant, not really pulling the trigger like I should have. ECYT, that should have been an easy short. And then PIXY should have been an easy dip buy. So 
two trades this morning. I don't know, maybe just because I've not been in the zone this week or haven't been trading a bunch that uh, mentally it kind of tricked me or I don't know. I can just feel myself kind of wanting to revenge trade or wanting to kind of over trade after kind of missing this entry on PIXY. And I mean, in this video here, and hopefully, you know, you guys see that sometimes it's always bad to miss opportunity, but you know, it can be frustrating for sure. Definitely after seeing an opportunity like this where, you know, I could have bought this dip here, had my order out there, I canceled my order, and then boom, up there to 544. So would have been a nice 60 cent win there on PIXY. Beautiful. If you're not in the zone, it's not happening for you. It's got to know when to call it. And uh, I can just feel it. I can feel myself thinking about doing some stupid stuff, maybe chasing a trade. I can, I can feel it coming. So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel this out. I'm going to close it out now. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Talk to you later on.